Who said that? Yeah, yes, Kadi. No way. Yeah, wallahi, wallahi. He said that. Yeah, wallahi. Yeah, I will. Akhi, I'll ask. No, one second. Akhi. Yeah, Akhi. I'm. I'm sure. Alhamdulillah, wa salat wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Amma baad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Brothers and sisters, hope you guys are well. We're back on MXP. We've got our big brother. Hussein here with us, Street Adin. Aki Barakallah Fiq, how you did? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We're back at So, um, this is going to be an interesting podcast, inshallah ta'ala, because Brother Hussein, mashallah, has uh, been involved in da'a for a very, very, very long time. Very long time. And um, we're going to extract some life lessons, inshallah ta'ala, and talk about three decades. We're going to go through three decades, inshallah ta'ala, in this, uh, in this podcast, akhi. So... I'm just going to straighten this for you, inshallah. No problem. So okay, what we do on the podcast, first and foremost, we always um, start off by mentioning how we got to know each other. Okay. So do you remember the first time we actually, <laughs> what, what, what was it? <laughs> it was a couple of incidents, uh, basically. So you got to just, just yeah. try and keep so, this, yeah. So, Is it close enough? Yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah, cool? Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Cool? Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, like we was, when you're involved in a dawa, you're on social media. So alhamdulillah, I know she was one of the people who won Dawah and so forth. This was many years ago. Yeah, there was a bunch of you. Mm-hmm. Like, and you lot was giving Dawah. So from time to time, um, like, because I think you were just young brothers. Yeah. Uh, just give, like, basically just giving Dawah, like, just trying to do what you felt right. Mm. So sometimes I would inbox you, like, for example, do you mind if I say it? Yeah, no, go for it. Okay, so... There was a couple of things that I basically gave Nasir advice, on. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so, for example, one of them was that he was uh, like promoting kind of like doing this thing with like Omar Issa, and mm-hmm. I was basically saying that, bro, you know, uh, it's not really from the Dawa, and it's not from the Dawa of the prophets and the companions that used to give Dawa through singing and stuff like yeah. this, yeah, and so forth. So, absolutely, especially someone who used to sing Kafar songs and, uh-huh. and Kafar songs and sings like, famous Kafar songs that come out. Uh-huh. You know, because that means that you listen to them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because you, you can't, every time a kafar so, 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 song comes out and you're singing, making a halal version, whatever uh-huh. that means, means you have to listen to the lyrics of the first one. Uh-huh. So I must have advised you about that. Um, yeah, and so forth. And then there was another few things, like I think you were like, going to do a meet and greet with the Dharma, and you had like, a, there was a poster, yeah. and you're all kind of dressed like superheroes, and yeah, I said yeah. like, <laughs> guys, we're, <laughs> we're not we're not really the superheroes. That's, this. Even, that's even before his time, you don't, you don't even remember that, stuff, do you? I was at the water, Lily, I remember that, that yeah, was yeah. way, way back in the day. I remember Rise with the Dharma, man. No, this, this, is, this, is, this was, that after was, the Adam Sard- that was literally one year <laughs> after Dharma, man, like, you know, before I come out as Dharma, man, that was literally one year after. <laughs> yeah, so it's like there was a poster, <laughs> like, and it was like meet the down and yeah, you yeah. all with your like cartoon kind of figures, yeah, yeah. but with like superheroes. Like one had a camera, yeah. one had I don't know, like uh, it, uh, like because so, like, like, difficult to do it our and it's like yeah. come and meet the down and I say look, <laughs> the prophets in this thing. If there is any, if there is any superstars and stuff, first of all, it's the prophets. You know, then it's the first three generations. The, 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 yeah, the companions, the the, the tabi'in and yeah. the abba tabi'in, the salaf, absolutely, and so forth. And then the ulama, you know, the like real scholars, like people like Fawzan. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Waratul Anbiya, they are the ones who inherited inheritors of the, the prophets. So they are right after the prophets. There is no one on earth better than the scholars. Yeah, wallahi, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I bust the flag. Um, yeah, it was you. About that, I said, look, we're not the superstars. It's the prophets, uh-huh. then the 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 companions, the the best, the first few generation, the salaf, and after that, the people that are alive to the, to, uh, you know, the scholars that came after that, and then you know, the scholars that you know, and then you have students of money and mm-hmm. so forth for that. And, then, and I said, we're not really superheroes. And having this meet and greet, like we're fans, we shouldn't have this kind of stuff. And, and the thing is, I remember Hamdulillah, like, like, we weren't friends. We didn't know each other, but Hamdulillah, you always like. And I can be wrong at times. I'm not perfect. I have mistakes myself and stuff. But the one thing I, um, that I was grateful for is that you, because there's a group of you, mm. and you always took like the advice on. And there was other people that said to me blatantly, are you jealous? I said, jealous of what? How can I be jealous of Haram, bro? Like, <laughs> like, I'm j- I, can j- I know you're not super dour men and just that level. Like, yeah. su- super, like, we, we don't have, all of us don't have no knowledge. Yeah, and this meet and greet, well, how can I be jealous of it? Like this, come and meet the dumb and questions. We, we ain't got knowledge anyway. We, oh, we're not. So 
I'm not jealous of that. I'm not really jealous of people singing Kafa songs to give Dao and stuff like that. Uh, and like, it's just that we're all in the Dao, we're in the Dao scene. Yeah, we're all giving Dao to the same, to, to youth and this, that and ever. You know, we never, f when the prophet said, uh, Allah says that he sent a prophet to every nation, first thing calling to Tawheed. Yeah. Yeah, when he sent Mawal Ibn Jebel, he said, you go to the people of the books, so let it be Tawheed. You never saw, yeah, um, the Prophet send a bunch of men like Chris Brown or uh, Trey Songz, say, like, go to this group of people, yeah, and start <laughs> saying, oh baby, yeah, <laughs> and come to Islam and all this kind of stuff, you know, whether it be one or like a, like five guys in the back oh, clicking wow. over. I said, just like, there was none of this that stuff. And don't try and bring a poet, oh, wow. poet. There's a difference between someone doing poetry speaking yeah. and oh baby yeah. you get what I'm saying and all that style of stuff you start saying don't try and say you know, the prophet well, what well, the prophet well. had a poet that used to say bring everyone to the car yeah and they just say like, get the mic check one two three yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then what people to put some feminine voice on like got down on one knee like oh please come to no, come on yeah. you see what I'm saying so yeah, it's 100%. like I was like bro this is not like the, the style of you down and this and then Certain big names of this, that, and the other, like, they are you jealous? Yeah. I remember that person said that to me. I said, bruv, I'm nobody, yeah, yeah. but, but well, I'm not well, jealous of this whack stuff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so forth. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so there was a couple things that happened. Um, there's a couple things, different issues um, to do with, yeah, the way that that, that was been doing and certain things of this, that, and the other. And just, you know... Uh, I would just like let, like let you know, reach out to you and say to you, bro, you know, I believe you lot got good intentions, but there's two things for each deed, you know, and so forth. And, and, and like, you, you lot took it. Or it and just for it, everyone's benefit, the two things are sincerity, yeah. which most people claim, say, I'm doing this for Allah. Yeah. It's not enough to be sincere. Yeah. To follow the Prophet's Sunnah. Yeah. Christians are sincere. Yeah, they're sincere. Yeah. But then the Prophet said, Man amila amila laysa alayhi amruna fahuwa rad. Anyone yeah. who does an action it's not from our religion, it will be rejected. Yeah. So, so, so you the elm. Yeah. It's the it's the elm. I don't think there's anyone there that generally wants to do bad when they're doing dawah. Yeah, they all have a good intention. Yeah, they all have good intention, but you can cause more harm than good with the, with, with, with dawah and so forth. Uh, you know, one thing before I go into my experience what, of how I met you. One right. little thing, thing. For example, Dean Squad and these stuff, they split up now. But the whole point is, look, Dean Squad said they were doing down a few music to call the youth to thingy. Yeah. They're opening up for, oh, not long ago, they were opening up for Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, yeah. So how did that work? You said you were down was to bring people away from the haram music. To the haram music. Yeah. To the haram music. Yeah. 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 They're not haram and music, I don't really. believe in all this Nashi's thing anyway, because why would I listen to the crap music? <laughs> Yo, why can I listen to your I like, to the S to A to the O to the M <laughs> scrap when yeah. I can just listen to the better Kafar stuff? Yeah, exactly. But the whole thing is now you're open up you're open up for Justin Bieber. Yeah. So now you were a pre act for the Kafar music. Yeah. And now you're singing Kafar tunes anyway. Yeah. And yours is rubbish compared to the Kafar one anyway, yeah. so it doesn't work. Anyway, but the point I'm trying to say is that it's not about their intention, it's not about how good their manners are either. It's the fact that a bidder is the worst type of sin because if someone outside the dean tries to misguide you, give you alcohol or give you this, that, and the other, you know he's a kafir or this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? You know he's misguiding you. If a, it, all these people like Jay-Z and 50 Cent or whoever the new ones are nowadays, I don't really know the new guys, but whoever the new one nowadays is, you know their music is haram 100%. and this, that, and the other. So there's a chance you can repent from it. 100%. But with the ones that claim to be Muslim and drop Alhamdulillah, is, in, in, Inshallah, and all these kind of things. You might think it's halal. Yeah. Because they're bringing religious... You, you'll never make tawbah from it if you think it's halal. And that's, 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 that's what Sufyan Authority of Allah Ta'ala said that the person who's... does bid'ah will not be forgiven. It's not because Allah won't make, accept his tawbah. The fact that he will never make tawbah, tawbah because he doesn't realise it's wrong. Yeah. That's why the person who does zina, even though zina is a major sin, he is... He is in a less dangerous situation than the one who does bid'ah because the one who's doing bid'ah he thinks I'm getting rewarded for this yes. evil that I'm doing. When you're getting but punished, the, but the, but the one who's sleeping with girls every day, but the woman who's sleeping with guys every day, she knows it's wrong. There's a chance she might one day repent, but him he he won't repent because he doesn't realize it's wrong. True. So actually, one other thing I wanted to mention just quickly before I go into yeah. um, how how you know my experience of you and okay. how how I how I met you. It's just I don't usually kind of mention these things, but it's just interesting. I, I thought it would be interesting to mention it on this podcast mm. because you're the second guy I had on the podcast that said this now. I had Yasin before, and Yasin, the way I kind of got to know him was he was advising me. Okay. He sent me messages through Facebook. Marshal. Advices. Which Yasin? Yasin Munye. Oh, Marshal, I'm beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, humble, um, humble brother, smiley I, brother. I, yeah, yeah. Marshal, so, so, I love that brother, man. So I, I haven't discussed this issue publicly with Abu Bakr Islam, but... Uh, many may not know, but Abu Bakr, the way I got to know him was I remember through Twitter, 
he was DMing me in my inbox, advising me as well. Subhanallah. And you were also as well advising <laughs> me. And what everyone will kind of say is, I mean, I took the advice, right? And yeah, always, all the time. So, so, so. And even if you didn't take it 100%, with me, I think you always took it. I can't mm. remember the subject where you took You always heard it out and you sincerely heard it out. You see, and that's my point is that some people try to make it out now where, like, 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 like man, don't ever listen to advice. And I just wanted to mention here, just because I don't listen, like, if someone advises you, yeah. The advice can be good or the advice can be bad. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're giving advice and you're not bringing evidence, you're not bringing Allah said, you're not bringing the Messenger said, you're not bringing statements of the Salaf, and you're presenting advice now, and I'm not taking it because I don't agree with That's it. That's not wrong on your behalf. That's not wrong on my part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, to pay, to pay man out like as if. No, you're not, not like that. Take advice. You're not like, because I'm, I'd be honest, yeah. I'm not the. Like. I'm not the softest person at, at giving dawah to people. And people are different. Like some people, the soft dawah and Allah's rahmah and the Prophet's gentleness and you'll get to jannah. Some people that works for. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And it motivates them to, to leave I, off. I, I personally think tough. But I that's, like, me. that's not me. Stick it on me. That's me. When, I, I'm, <laughs> when my iman is mashed up and I need to fix up, I listen to the fire and brimstone stuff. <laughs> yeah, I listen to that. You better fix up, or you're gonna get mash up, and you're gonna <laughs> go to the lowest version of hell, and you're gonna get finished, yeah. and you mu- you, you don't want to be. Different. J- yeah, that's me. Everyone's, yeah, I'm, I'm exactly the yeah. same. That's I remember when I started practicing, I used to look for speakers like that. Yeah, that's why we think. used to have a few people like that back in the day. Obviously, I'm not gonna mention their names because they turn out to be a little bit funny. But yeah. there were people who I know. You, yeah, you know, it's actually funny because one of the guys I used to listen to, who who used to scream like that on the mic. But that's the funny. When yeah. I know someone else who does it. Like, but see, this is the thing I'm gonna say, and I'm not talking about his the person's men had to do that. Yeah. It's funny. Some like, and I don't know. Uh, look, I'm not talking about the click he moves with for that, but yeah. generally, for example, Mohammed Hobos. Yeah. He can shout that whole just that, you know, a, knock drinks off the table, just that. Break the table. I he's think he he's passionate. Yeah. One, t- one time he came to East London, the brother told me he yeah. broke the table. Allah <laughs> very. He's passionate. You do it. Yeah. Ah, oh, you, 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 like this is not hikmah. This is rude. This is this that and the other. And so like, you've got no hikmah. Yeah. Why is it? Because yeah. well, Imran's English and thingies, what is it? New Zealand or whatever. It yeah. th- where is it? Where is it? Because it's both <laughs> shouting. I'm sure if you get a measure of the loudness and the actions of this and the other. Uh, but people just have personality issues. Shate, yes. Shate, you know what it is? I don't think it's a shouting. I think it's what they don't like is their fear. They don't like the message that's yeah. being pushed. You know, it's interesting because one of the people who used to shout and scream back in the day so much, and I remember I used to listen to him, and I actually, like, I used to, he used to be one of my go to guys when I wanted to pattern up. I remember when I had a video of me shouting at the brothers in the message that went viral. This brother actually WhatsApp me, kind of telling me like, "What we did?" Just bring the video. No, no, just it, bring one of his. In my, in my mind, I thought to myself, "Bro, wallahi, the this way you on. used to rip the mic, I haven't, I haven't even gone close. <laughs> I haven't even gone close." And I'm second, I'm thinking, "I learned this from you," but yeah. now he's flipping it on me. And so, that's the thing with me. The way I advise you, I'm just like, I just like open and speak. The reason why I'm like that is because the way I started practicing. I had got, I had started practicing, and because of another Muslim and my fault, because of something that happened, and I don't mind explaining later, is I fell back off again. Uh. Yeah? And the way how I managed getting back up again is one time a brother that knew me, who I gave dawah to, and just came up to me and just, like, I'd got back with a girlfriend, I'd started smoking again, and, and so forth. He just came up to say, brother, like, like, what's going on, man? Are you guys with me? Yeah, yeah, he's like, what do you do? You're like, you're shaving off your bed and this, like, you've got a girlfriend. And, and he goes, bruv, are you not, you, you're not jahu about this stuff, yeah? And so, what's going on with you, bruv? He goes, you know, if you die in the state, you know, yes, Allah may forgive you, but you know that it's not worth relying on. And he was just straight with me. And I hate, yes, I hated him at the time, yeah? And, like, he was just looking at me in my face. But the thing is, is that, he didn't care because what is this that he's just, he just wanted to be straight with me. And what it was is that I hated him at the time. What he was saying was the huck anyway. So even so, after he left me and this that and the other, the huck still remained with me. Like hundred percent. And now I thank Allah for him that he did it for me because I had lots of people who gave me the soft nice this that yeah. and it just went in one ear and out the other. Sometimes because they did it so they did it so polite in a way to me that it was so diluted that it didn't really mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good actually if you practice because it'd be good for you. And sometimes you need to be told, bro. Your you're well, fix you're up or you're gonna burn. You, yeah, it's going to and that's the reality because. The whole thing is, it was the reality, you know? And I just used to not chill out with him because I used to live in a hostel and there's like girls there and smoking weed and tunes and, and like I, I told him I can't really hang with you and know you're going to the fire. And like there was a lot of stuff. But what it is is that basically, so people differ. So the way I advised you was just like straight up, 
you know, and and most of the time you you took it, and that's that's the thing. You don't like okay. You, there's a difference between what you personally don't like, yeah, and what's haram and what's halal. Because you don't like that Imran speaks fast, doesn't make it haram. Because you don't like it. You personally don't like you. That's not Allah said, Kala, Kala Rasul. Because you don't like because his body language, he moves around, or he's, he gives the youth a lot of information in a short space of time. That doesn't make it haram. And you walk around with a passion with like, hate this brother, hate this brother. But what's he doing? What's he doing? Because I've been in a dawah from, from back in the days like, when like, there was only like two or three brothers giving spe dawah at Speaker's Corner and this, that and the other. And I've watched the internet dawah scene and this, that and the other. I can say, yeah, out of the biggest dawah YouTubes, blatantly, out of all of the biggest names, the names that immediately come to mind, I know which audiences are educated and which ones aren't. I know for a fact, yeah, if you ask Imran's audience, where is Allah? All of the go to a crowd of any of Imran's, pick a day, put them in a with not gambling stuff, but put in a hat. Choose a day to go down to any of the classes, yeah, in Manting in the Masjid or whatever, or any lesson or this that ever. Ask any of the youths from like 14, yeah, to where is it? I don't know, like 35. Ask them, where is Allah? Allah is above the throne. Yeah? Who are the Salaf? The first three generations, the companions, the Tabi'een, the Atbar Tabi'een. What's the definition of Iman? Iman is a belief in a heart. It increases with good deeds. Yeah. It decreases with bad deeds. Yeah. So a belief in a heart, a statement on tongue, which ink and actions of the names, which increases with good deeds. You know, ask them the terms the 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 the, the Salaf, yeah, and a Salafi. Yeah. Is it is it a good thing or a bad thing? They could tell you. So, to read. yeah, they, 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 they could tell, the, if you ask them how many sections of free to, uh, to, um, how many sections of Tawheed or categories, they'll tell you free. Yeah, so the whole thing is, is that you may not personally like the brother, yeah, but you can't say, you can't say there's a more educated, any YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers, that the vast majority, 90% of those followers, yeah, that they know Akida. Rags, I say that, like. Openly Take anyone else Ask them where is Allah Their audience is going to be doubtful Can I phone a friend please Brother Abu Musab Allah Mubarak His audience Allah Mubarak Sorry Also Al-Madas to Umariya now Is growing a lot Allah Mubarak Huh? Ustad Abdul Rahman And Ustad Muhammad Tim The audience is growing a lot now MashaAllah as well No they're growing a lot But I'm saying you introduce You use the audience That you have to introduce When I'm talking about I'm not talking about that Because I don't see them as Dawa YouTubers You get what I'm saying I'm talking about the big The main biggest names There's about three of them yeah, YouTube channels that are over 100,000, you know? I'm not talking about their less like Studio Minaj, young brothers doing dawah, mm -hmm. yeah? Below their 30s, yeah? I'm saying to you, all the da dawah channels you think of, if you ask their audience, their audience mm -hmm. that have been following them for either, like, for years, ask them, where is Allah? Some of them, 50% or 70% of them will say, Allahu mm -hmm. You ask them it's the term Salafi is a good thing or bad thing. Most of them will say it's a bad thing. You you ask them what are the three categories of Tawheed? Uh, 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 you know, <laughs> you know. Our survey says don't know. <laughs> so no, what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, you might not like it. First of all, there's you've got the mad thing in the masjid. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've got the mad thing in there. There's like a kida. Yeah, the main, the uh, Tawheed and Akida main thing, but around them you do social issues. Because mm. Tawheed and Akida is always going to be the main thing. Well, that always means yeah, and you can never put knife crime and all these kind of things in front of Tawheed or Akida. Because if you don't, if you don't stab no one and you don't do, if you stab, if you, if you don't stab no one and you don't do zina and you don't sell drugs, but yet you, you don't know what Tawheed, tawheed is, you won't enter Jannah. Yeah. But if you know Tawheed then you do them things shit and so forth, it's bad, it's evil, you should stay away from them, but eventually you will come out of the... You know, just on that note, it's also really important to drive this point home because people think, why are you teaching Tawheed and Aqidah to guys who are selling drugs and uh, and smoking weed and sleeping with girls and holding knives? Why do you <laughs> do this? I remember there was a, a message I was in, there was a Jummah Khutbah, and the Imam must have said, you know, he's saying we need to tackle knife crime. Because, you know, obviously, we've been tackling this issue for a minute now, Alhamdulillah, but when it kind of popped a, bit, a year ago, yeah. everyone wanted to start jumping into the bandwagon and talking about it. So, Alhamdulillah, good. So the guy comes now, he's like, listen, you need to stop talking about bid'ah and all these issues. You need to deal with bigger issues, knife crime, so on and so forth. So I must have gone to the Imam at the end of the masjid and I said, you know, Salaam alaikum, Sheikh, I just wanted to speak to you. You know, you mentioned this issue. Um, I just wanted to know, like, you know, like where you kind of coming from. And he kind of flipped it on me. He said, when have the people of bid'ah ever 
harmed your da'wah? How have they ever got in the way of your da'wah? I said, they get in my da'wah in the way of my da'wah. I said, they get in the way of my da'wah every day. He said, what, they get in the way of your da'wah to the kids on the streets? I said, absolutely. I said, for example, the ones who deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes. When I'm trying to tell him, it's okay that you've done all these sins. You slept with many people, you harm many people, you are violent. But Allah is all merciful. He's forgiven. Yeah. But he said, I don't believe. The innovator will come and tell him, I don't believe in Allah's name, Ar Rahman. I don't believe in Allah's characteristic attribute of, of Rahmah. I don't believe in his name, Al Ghafur. We do ta'til or tafweed. Uh, of the name we we, we do we, we explain we, it away we, we explain it away or we 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 distort the meaning or we say we don't Allah's hand meaning. means his power or exactly or, or for example when when, when 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 we come to the brother and we say listen bro uh you need to you know you're, you're you know you need to stop moving like you're a bad man you know you're, yeah. you're, you're a low person at the end of the day yeah. we're all slaves yeah. you know allah is the most kibir only allah is the great one only allah is the grand one only allah is the big one do you know yeah. what i'm saying allah is the one who deserves kibr he deserves this this pride only allah is the right to be proud but then yeah and then he's humbling himself but suddenly an innovator comes and tells who doesn't believe allah's attributes what does he say he says you know what bro he says listen we don't take Allah's names attributes. Al Mutakabir? No. <laughs> no. So you're taking Allah's names and attributes away. That's, That's why we're teaching these kids at Aqidah. Not just that, I said to him now, a person who denies, who says Iman is only in the heart. Obviously, like you said earlier, Ahl Sunnah believe that Iman is in the heart, on the tongue, on the limbs. Yeah. Okay? So so now, what, what are the Murja? The Sufis, Ash'aris, Maturi, these, what do they believe? They believe Iman is in the heart. Yeah. It only really manifests on, on, on the limbs. So then, okay, now. The drug dealer and the person in the masjid. Is the same because they say Iman is just, yeah, yeah. just to know Allah or it's just some foundation in the heart. So then this guy tells you, listen, you don't know what's in my heart. I have Allah, I believe in Allah in my heart, but he's stabbing people. So and, and and he's, and you're telling me his iman is fine as his iman's <laughs> intact because they believe because imagine if they don't believe iman can go up and down so we're, I mean, we're all going to have the same end on Joe McKeown the same end because yeah. what people need to understand is that if a person says look iman don't go up and down yeah. iman's just one thing right. so that means if I have iman and you have iman your iman can't be greater than mine it can't go up or down so we all have complete iman so the guy who's sleeping around with girls raping girls smoking weed doing this doing that his iman is the same as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you know what I'm saying? So, then, so, so, so when I flip on him and I say, bro, listen, you know, every time you do bad deeds, like you're dropping in Iman. Your Iman is in danger. You, you know, your, your Iman yeah. is low. Like because of you may be punished. He says, to you, he says to you, one innovator told me Iman don't go up and down, bro. How you, who are you to judge me? My yeah. Iman is in my Two heart. Dawa. Only Allah can judge me. Only Allah can judge me. That's where it comes. People <laughs> don't realize it comes from this stuff of Bidah. You know what I'm saying? That's why when we bring the brothers in to the message. First thing we tell them, listen, bro. He said, listen, bro. You need to know Aqeedah. Because that's why everything you do, it doesn't matter who you're giving doubt to. You're giving doubt to politicians. You're giving that to kids on the streets, you're giving that to feminists, whoever you're giving that to, Aqid and Tawheed is where the issue starts. Yeah. That's the foundation. You fix that, everything else will fix. So that's why we focus on Aqid and Tawheed more than anything else. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm basically trying to say is that, okay, put aside the, the fast speaking and the. Um, so I'm speaking mad fast. No, <laughs> but I'm saying put aside the fast speaking that you personally don't like, yeah, and the body language is that and the other and so forth, yeah. And that's one another, yeah, and so forth. The biggest audience, yeah, that. Ah, uh, no Tawheed, know who the Salaf are, yeah, um, know what is it, um, what is it, also who the scholars are, mm. like, the, you introduce them, yeah, to students of knowledge from like Medina University, Umkura, um, where is it, and also the, the, the actual ulama, the, you can't be around <coughs> them talks and not know Fawzan, Muslim al Sheikh Sheikh Wasiyallah, mm. and uh, like proper kibar, not yeah. who we think in this, in this country are, are scholars, yeah. Yeah, because the problem with it in being in the West, yeah, is that the people who we're told to are scholars, yeah, and even though there's a huge difference between a layman and a Medina mm -hmm. graduate, yeah, they are not the ulama. Yeah, they're not. You so the whole from it. So the people who Far we see as the, the, the ulama and the scholars are basically graduates from a university, uh. it, 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 uh, like in, in the Middle East. But the whole thing is the actual scholar, the ulama, people in their 70s, in their 80s, bruv. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like, like that have memorized books, bruv. It's like, like there's a there's a huge gap. And, and what I'm trying to say is that basically, to, if you really love the Sunnah and you really love, you know, the, the Salaf and Orthodox, authentic Islam and this, that, and that, when it comes to big YouTube platforms, the one that is educated by the permission of Allah, you know, the youth. In detail, one this that and the other is the channel is your lot's channel, mm -hmm. you know, and so forth. And you and I don't know if there's anyone else that's that's always like introducing people to students of knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, Abdurrahman has this one, Tim Humble, um, what is it? Um, a lot of the martial arts Somali students of knowledge. Um, 
you know, like Yasmin, the brother. Yasin. Yasin. Um, there's Abdaziz, the Somali brother, mm. who's away studying. Like, there's a whole bunch of there's a whole there's a whole a whole bunch of them that you've that that you've like you continuously Khalid as well, the brother. You know, mashallah. Abu Taymiyah. Yeah. yeah, Abu Taymiyah. Um, like, there's a whole bunch of them. I can't remember the whole yeah. of the the all of them. Yeah. So the whole thing is is at the end of the day is that your your audience is educated. Mm. Uh, and I'm not trying to make think of the caps. So if you benefit from someone, uh, then benefit from and them and so on. But at the end of the day, there's no point having big YouTube channels if you can't speak the huck. Mm. If you ha- if someone's been following you for five years, ten years, and they don't know where Allah is, they don't they don't to pray. yeah they don't know where Allah is, they don't know the the the, the prayer, they don't know the, how many categories of tawhid there there's is. A cat. Yeah, these oh. are even, but even though there's a cat thing, these these are like like. These are quite detailed and stuff like that. But I'll say basic things like where Allah is, how many categories of Tawheed there is, you know, who the best of generations are and this, that, and the other. Yeah, what is Iman and these <laughs> things? Then, then, okay, I've got, I've got like, I've got a lot of people following me, but what do they know? What do they know? If we, if we take your follow, followers and this, that, and the other and so forth, but ask them, you know, questions about Tawheed and Akidah, you know, in, like, in general, in detail and stuff, and, and they don't know where Allah is. Mm. Then what benefit is the channel? Mm. You know? And and that's what I'm saying is that I don't know what happened with the situation where you guys split or just that and the other and so forth. Mm. But I do remember that the times before when I was given advice and so forth, you took it. I got called jealous. Oh, you're jealous by other people. Why am I bruv? Wallahi did singing dawah and this doing this doomsy stuff like, yeah, shut up, bruv. Like, cause that shows that you're also listening to like there's certain things that become mainstream amongst us, yeah? There's certain things that become mainstream amongst us, so you might hear it. That's one thing. But then doing something on your Dawah channel, like, shut up, man, and all this kind of stuff, it just, sh- sh- you, you should expose your sins. If you happen to hear it, and this, that, and the other, and so forth, you hear it. But then don't, don't make videos about it, and this, that, and the other. And don't promote people that sing Kofar's first songs. You know, I put, like, you've come out and said certain things you did in the past. Like chasing down, um, what's his name, Krauss. Mr. Kraus. <laughs> That's the the big difference I like is that you come out and apologize for him. You've mm-hmm. come out and made videos saying this singer the Dawa and this that is not from the Salaf and this that and the other, and you've apologized for the things that you've done before that you've used to follow. You picked up and certain thing, and like people can notice the 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 difference of Dawa. And this is what I don't like. Yeah, they may seem like camps. Yeah, but. Your caps is for the sake of Allah. For example, Abdurrahman, you can't bribe Abdurrahman. And he will sp- if he believes something is wrong, he will say the huck, regardless whether it's for his people or not. Mm. For example, I think you must have done a flyer mm. for an event, a conference. And what you mm-hmm. meant, from what, you, from what I understood you meant, is that it's going to be the biggest conference that's going to be. In, in, the students of knowledge were crazy on that. Mm. They're like, I don't know, it was about 10 or. Mm. Like you had everyone in there, but like we got, Habit we got, Tabu, you have had Abdul. Have, 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 no, have, 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 have we got corrected? No, but what I'm saying is that you said it in a way. From what I understood from yeah. you, you said the, this is going to be the biggest conference that so forth. Talking about how many numbers you got. Yeah, I think Abdurrahman understood it as to be like the biggest, the best. Like, how can I say? I don't know whether biggest in event or why is it that I understood to be the student of no because the the fly was crazy. I, mean, I think the problem was that we worded it in the wrong way where it could carry yeah. more than one meaning. But he openly said to you, he corrected us. Yeah, he openly said you shouldn't type, you shouldn't call your thing the biggest conference this that and the other and so forth. Yeah, so we're not a hisb. Yeah, I don't. And, not the, hisb. and the thing is, is that people will think it. Yeah, but after why did it? Um, Abdurrahman could have inboxed him and this, that, and the other, but Abdurrahman would just show listen, my love is for the Quran. So I, lo- I do. Ab- Abdurrahman loves you like his own child. You see what I'm saying and so forth. But it's that if he thinks something's wrong, let's be corrected. He's, he's going to say it. You're going to say it so forth. And he's not above correction. But one thing about Abdurrahman Hassan, even the haters that try and refute him, everyone knows that brother's selfie, bro. You can't, no matter what say, look at his playlist, bro. Just go to Abdurrahman's. Uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube channel Just go to the playlist bruv In a f- He's been on YouTube For like Under 10 years bruv The playlist All the Talaf Kitab Atul He just yeah. 
And you know, not, just, not just that, the amount of <laughs> books that he's explained, Allah Mubarak, in the English language, stuff that some stuff that's never been explained in English language before. He was the first to explain it. Yeah, it's, that that playlist is like crazy. Allah Even Allah. ones that hate him know he's a good thing. Even when they say they benefit well. from him. They do, of they, course. They, they, they listen they, to him. They under the cover, they listen yeah, to yeah, him, bro. Under the bed with their notebook and pen. <laughs> <laughs> hoping that someone doesn't know and report them to <laughs> headquarters. Well, like they, like, trust me. Headquarters. Trust me. <laughs> and I know the Somali brothers do because they, when they love Elm, they love Elm. Yeah. So even the Somali brothers that are with those people that call him a husband, this, that, and the other, trust me because they know what knowledge is. And they will know when they listen to them, man. When it comes to Arabic, when it comes to Elm, when it comes to Elm, you're not levels. There's different <laughs> levels, bruv. <laughs> okay, well, I wanted to do Barakallah yeah. which is so much benefits, man. Alhamdulillah. I wanted to mention about very um, yeah. very shortly, Go but, but I, the reason why we're saying that is that I met you not on being friends with you and her, and the reason why I respected you is that when I gave you her, you listened, mm. and so whether you took it or not, you listen you listened mm. to it and so forth. And secondly, as time went past and so forth, I could see it was more Kala Kala Rasula introducing people to student knowledge, taking people to uh, Umrah, this, that, and the other, and the audience is educated. Mm. How, how many subscribers is it on the 100 and... 230. 230 now? Yeah. SubhanAllah. Mm. 230, the vast majority of them, like I said, they know. Mm. Dean. Yeah? You, you know what's also interesting, Hamda, is that our audience, it's not about the numbers, but yeah. one thing that we really, tr- we're so grateful to Allah is that he allowed us to do, is that when these brothers and sisters that you now see who have educated, yeah. a lot of them you came... And some people think that, you know, edu- to educate people who are practicing is not as hard as educating people. Who's who not practicing, not used to it. Who didn't even know the deen. I'm talking people who were carrying knives yeah. and now they're in Egypt. And that's knowledge. what I'm saying. They, it's, it's, they're Probably memorizing texts of books. They're memorizing texts. They come, literally come off road yeah. where they come out of clubs. And it was a process. It wasn't overnight. Some yeah. of them was two, three year process. But like now we're starting to see the fruits. Them same brothers and sisters who is doing madness. Yeah. Like I'm saying, in and out of jail, yeah. sleeping around, selling drugs, taking drugs. Now, these people are becoming students of knowledge. And do you know what's hard to do that? To teach, because the dean that you're teaching at the lectures and stuff, it's not based on like, that's what I'm saying, it's not based on the sheets and people doing break dancing mm. and, you know what I'm saying, and so forth. It's kala kala rasul. You know, you have different people, you have students of knowledge, you have speakers, and when you have the chance to get scholars, you get them. But I'm saying that the the basis of what they're coming to listen to is Kala, Kala Rasulullah. You know, it's not no gimmicks and stuff like that. And to get youths who've got very ch- short attention span in this day and age and get them to love the deen, because these youths that come to Matthew, Matthew they travel far, bruv. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like miles, bro. Coming out of the city a lot of them. Yeah. It's like crazy when sometimes I see some of them and all different. And what I love about when I, because sometimes I've been fortunate to speak there and you look out and it's just as, well, it's a sea of different races and different colours, Zaki, and they're all passing, they don't, some of them don't know each other and they're passing each other drink, giving each slice of Love. their piece. Well, it's real brotherhood, bruv. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I find it annoying in Twitter and sometimes I go, go back and forth with people. You try like this, this, the dumb stuff and I say, look, yeah, your own camp, if you do certain things wrong, they will come out and correct you and this, that, and the other and so forth. That's not like with other people. For example, the other day, Man came out and was saying there's co- pro- problems with the, the the compilation of the Quran and this, that, and the other. Like, it was generally like silent, bruv. <laughs> and every, there was ijma against everyone, amongst everyone. Nah, this was a. Um, you put Shubha Heart into. You got a YouTube, big YouTube ca- account with, I don't know, maybe close to 100,000 people. You He said, man saying about. Oh, the scholars, the scholars, um, when it comes to the compilation, of the compilation of the Quran and just that, the arguments they use do not resp- do not adequately respond to that of the Western you know, academics and this, and there's holes in our argument, and, and we need new things, and the arguments are not strong enough. So basically, you're saying that the Western academics and stuff, they, 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 they've put holes in our argument of why the Quran, yeah, is perfect, yeah. But do you notice that the man's done? I think like a thirty-plus part series refuting the Orientalists on the using Quran, Sunnah, and the works of our scholars. Hamza. It's on his YouTube channel, yeah, and Hamza. he's still every day releasing more episodes. I so if one time questions about the preservation of the Quran, they should go to his channel. Yeah. I'll put the link below. It's called the Preserved Book. That's the name of the series. Definitely, everyone agreed that 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 move, yeah, that move, yeah. That move was a catastrophe, bruv. Mm-hmm. 
Because the average person, and even students of knowledge, like, they were like, how's man saying that, that, that the arguments that we have for why the Quran's preserved and stuff is weak? And then he just, okay, uh, uh, he says, well, like I am goodbye. <laughs> you know what? The Western academics, they got all these proofs, the arguments that they got uh, are more advanced than the arguments we were <laughs> given and the uh, uh, arguments that we're using from 20 years ago, or thingy years ago are not sufficient. And they're and they putting holes in our arguments and I'm going to see you later. <laughs> Take care. Um, Allah wa if your book is preserved. You know? <laughs> Certain things were going on. Like when, That's what I say. When people were pushing, a person who sings Kufar songs, no one said anything. Yeah? What is it? When people, certain people were doing down one minute, yeah? Then the next minute, yeah? They're uploading a video with a thumbnail with no top on. Mm. No one said nothing. And you could say, oh, but the aura's from the belly button to the, to the, um, the knee to the, to the belly button. Cool. You're going to let your wife sit down and watch a man? I don't care if he's talking about the prophet. I don't care if he's talking about Jenna. I don't care if he's talking about Jehenim. You are not going to let your wife, your sister or your daughters Watch a man with no top on or in, or in three quarter lengths, yeah? Just chat about the dean. Then man's uploading video in tight, like, like see-through kind of lacquer stuff and this, that. One minute you're talking about the dean and dawah and this, that and the other and so forth. And the next minute you're uploading videos where you're not dressed up properly. We're in tight vest talking about the virtues of hijab and stuff like that. It's in speaker's corner. No one says nothing. Because what happens is that what happens, but it's funny when you do make something wrong that Everyone comes out. All these people come out to you. Like, like how many different people spoke about what you're doing is wrong? And Imran's impatient and he's Shabab and he doesn't know anything and blah, blah, blah. Like, the, with the situation of Quran, only one person came out and made the video. I, made, uh, uh, um, I, I respect him for that because the damage was so bad that someone had to do it. So someone came out and quickly did a video explaining how the Quran is this, that, and the other. Yeah? But no one came out and blasted and said, why did this, this brother, what he did was a response or irresponsible? I respect that video as well. No, I respect that video of that brother to do it. If you're watching it. Adnan Rashid. Yeah, Adnan Rashid. That was, Mayla, that was a good one. Yeah, may Allah. May Allah bless you. Trust me, because man just dropped the ball. Yeah. It's like, man come on the channel with their hugs. And by the way, that's an example of, I think, us being a bit genuine. Like, as in, people, know, that people know we don't agree with, yeah, with, well, with we the don't, brother. Yeah, we don't. And we don't see eye to eye. Yeah. Uh, but respect to his due. Yeah. Like that's no, cause he, cause, cause, he, yeah, may Allah reward you, Aki. I mean, because what happened is that man, like, hundred thousand subscribers, you bring him on the channel, man, just comes shubahat, shubahat. Here's a shubahat, shubahat. Who was a shubahat? Here, here taking him, taking him, taking him. Like, Our book's not really personal. And this man, and I don't even know why this man was invited on, on your channel in the first place. He had already said that the 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 laws about stoning are, um, like, he said sometimes now. There's issues that or or rulings in our in the book that us the scholars and when he talks about scholars he's not talking about Fozan he's not talking about Muslim Abad he's not talking about Sheikh Wasilla and the legend of, and he's talking about him and Yakin the, he's talking about he he's he has a cuddy and these people are talking about him and his other like our Maghrib Institute guys or, or <laughs> other people that studied the in scholars. Medina <laughs> these other people that sperm, the term Sheikh means one or two things it either means Person who's old in age, yeah, yeah, or it means a person of knowledge, yeah, yeah. And look, we all know that there's a hadith that says that that you reach manhood at the age of forty, yeah. So you're not shaped by knowledge, mm -hmm. um, by by age by wise. Age. And so you're gra knowledge. a Medina graduate, if at at the most, most of yeah, and so forth. And there's the, we respect the Medina grads. You've got lots of people who are Medina graduates and stuff like that, but they don't present themselves as scholars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Those brothers that we know. That's that that studied seven years in Medina and came out. And even if you do, he done a bit more, you might want to call Tahir White a, scho a scholar because he done twenty two years lacking like, there. He basically mm. lived there for half. But uh, to be honest, he's doing some funny things recently. One life. What with the yeah Tahir, Tahir White? No, the Yukin Institute. No, the Yukin. Look, well, like, I, to be honest, I'm I'm, I'm no, running out of excuses. No, but this what, but the thing is, what I'm trying to say is to say to you, I'm not talking. I'm talking about with the you if you're with an organization. Yeah. You should make clear what clear what you're doing, but even he needs to make clear because that's like, what I'm example, saying. He's hanging around with Yaqeen Institute, and them guys are. I understand evolution, like the. I know the whole thing. LBGB mythological. I understand what I'm saying. I'm saying you will never catch him saying that. But what I'm trying to say to you, I'm talking about age. What makes someone a scholar? Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying. I'm talking about what makes someone a. Scholar. You're, you're saying at least he has age. By, by, age. Yeah, by by for, by a scholar, by a scholar, you can um, by being a scholar, it's like one of two things. It's either by your age, mm -hmm. yeah. 
And we know that just being 40 something or between 40 yeah. and 50 is not really that, that, that's not really the thing. Because, like I said, there, there's a hadith that says that you reach manhood at the age of 40. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And it, it's not by Elm studying like seven years of stuff like in Medina and so forth. And, and the difference between people who have studied in Medina and stuff is like the heavens and earth, the difference between them and a layman or yeah, yeah. people like us, yeah? So, but. They, but when you ha but when they come back when they like the ones we know that, that are in this country yeah the ones that like the, the country they don't call they don't title their things as shake yeah. you know what I'm saying you'll never find Tim Humble mm. you know or Abdul Wahid these kind of people or this that and the other and so forth or any of the mid Khalid you know where he's still studying and so forth but you you know what I'm talking about because they learn humility from the scholars because you know a lot of these brothers who come back and they call themselves sheikh. They never even studied with the Mashaykh when they were in Medina. Mm. They used to just self-study, go to classes. They never used to go to the halaqat in the house. After. When you, when you actually, so when you actually go to the scholars inside the masjid, you learn humility from them. Yeah. You can't go to the scholars and not learn humility. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's what they learn humility from the scholars. These brothers, they went to Medina and uh, some of them, we know the history. Yeah. They was in Medina six years and they were just going to the different restaurants around the country. <laughs> the milkshake spots and different food places. You know what I'm saying? So they, they went to Medina. They didn't what? They didn't yeah. go there to seek knowledge. They went there to pass a test. Like for example, the same way now me, I'm, I studied law at uni, but I don't encourage anyone to study law yeah. or anything like that. But I, I, st I studied law at uni. And when they come to passing a test, <laughs> trust me, you can't say I know law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just no, passed okay, the test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just, yeah, yeah. You memorise what you needed yeah, to. Yeah, just, just pass the test. So I'm seeing a lot of the uni grads, they come out and they and they put the work in. <laughs> but some of them, they just pass the test. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And then they come, and, and it's the ones who just pass the test, come and say, we're sheikh. But the ones who actually memorise books of hadith, mm. they memorise qiraat and mutun, and they start with the scholars, they learn humility from the scholars. Real knowledge will make you humble. So they come back and they tell you what, don't even call me a stand. Yeah, no, no, not like that. You could, they, like, if you try to call them sheikh in front of the, the in front of them, like the, the people that did study, did um, um in Medina and so forth, yeah. Um, like they, they, they be. Uh, you can see by the facial features they don't like it because they yeah. know, you know. There's people like Sheikh Fozan and all yeah. there's uh, we'll see a lot of the legend of these kind of people. Yeah. They, they know. Man's in their seventies and eighties. Yeah. But we, the apex, we think are the apex of who we, we think our scholars are like Medina graduates. So we look like. So when you hear like Yasser Khan and these kind of people, Omar Solomon, these kind of things, these kind of names and stuff, like we basically think these are the ulama. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, so I, I remember something that Ustad Abdul Rahman said to me back in the day. Yeah. He said to me, um, he said to me, because people used to listen to Umar Suleiman, these kind of guys, and huh. they used to come with like, you know, stuff that people see as like powerful, like, wow, you know, like, how, like s s stuff like that. So uh, he said, you know, when you listen to these things, you think, wow, like, are you amazed? And this back when we was young, you know what I'm saying? And we're like, yeah. Like that was a deep point, you know what I'm saying? Like that, the way he brought that benefit. And then I remember Ustad said, he said, I feel sorry for you. He said, if only you knew that which was inside of the books. He said, if only you knew, if you think these guys, I got something special. Wow. If only you knew what was inside the books. And then years later, when we started to learn Arabic and we started oh. to be able to read the books, well, I remember. I, think, love. I, I, I remember I was reading Imam Al Qurtubi's Kitab at Tazkirah. And I remember, like, it's, like you know, like it's heart softening book. It's about death and day of judgment. When I was reading that, I was like, wow, he didn't tell a lie. Mm. Bro, people don't know what's inside. You the don't books. know until. The only reason you look at this guy as he's amazing is because he's better than you. He knows a little bit more than you know, but that don't mean he knows. <laughs> I remember, yeah, when I first became Muslim and stuff, like, um, we went to buy tapes and stuff. And like, like we just, we didn't have no men and stuff like yeah. that at first and stuff of like, you know, like, so what happened is that, like, we come across certain tapes, and I used to hear Hamza Yusuf, and because he got, like, the English and the Sufi Arabic, guy. yeah, yeah, and he's talking about these times he was, like, uh, like against the government and all these kind of things, yeah, yeah. The, and he's like, kind of like, and he, and, and you thought he's deep because he had, like, Illuminati excellent English, stuff, yeah. yeah, and he says, if you look at Spider's Web, yeah, Allah says that the, 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 the the plan of the shaitan is like um, a spider's web or something. And he said, if you look at the sign of the UN, it's in a spider's web. And it's like, man, making me up here. Whoa, this man is deep, yeah. But obviously, <laughs> yeah, but you bring a couple of ayats and stuff, but you don't know, ain't it? You, like, you don't, you, 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 if you have no reference point, you won't know. But yeah, the point I was trying to say is that this is what I'm trying to say. We have, there has to be environment. And it's not about 
just camps and this, that, and the other, and so forth. And like we said, may Allah reward Adnan Rashid for making that video about the compilation of the Quran because it was irresponsible. And we never got, a, no one got a sorry, yeah, that you bring someone on your on your platform, yeah, a man who had said, you know, the laws are stoning, yeah, and sometimes there's, there's him and the other bizarre. scholars, yeah, they're bizarre, they're, where's it, problematic, mm. yeah, um, they're medieval. Yeah, and you know, the term medieval is not a positive thing when you think about it and this, mm. that, and the other, and so forth. And, and we're trying to think and sit down and work out how we can resolve all these things. He said that Ibn Taymiyyah had an um, ISIS-like mindset. Who He's, said that? Yeah, Ayas Qadi. No way! Yeah, wallahi, wallahi. He said he had an ISIS-like yeah, mindset? Yeah, I will. Akhi, Allah. No, one second. Akhi. Yeah, Akhi. I'm, I, I'm, I'm shocked. Akhi, Allah, yeah. He's the, what is it? He's the Al-Samir, the all-hearing, yeah. Al-Basir, the all-seeing. I can't make up, I can't just make up a lie about the guys. This was through the. Um, this like th- there's been a number of talks. Master Umar bin Khattab would fill an aqidah test. Yeah, and you might say, oh, <laughs> what you mean is that the um, the tawhid will be an asthma. But what is your intent? No, is no, but even then, you think Umar bin Khattab wouldn't be able to explain it? No, of course he can explain, of course he can explain it. it. But even if you say, even if you try and say, oh, the rububiyah wasn't there, and um. Um, but, the uns- but, but the concept was there. Yeah, but why like, per- say it? Why is yeah. it? And the thing is, one thing you can make an excuse for someone, yeah? It's like grammar. You know, for example, back when the, when, when, when the Sahab used to speak Arabic, yeah. they never said, uh, you know, uh, that the, uh, the the kalimat, the words in the Arabic language are divided into three categories, ism, fi'l, yeah. harf. But it was natural. It was they knew all it, understood. Yeah. They knew. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like they only divided it in those categories to make it easier easy for, for us teaching. To, to yeah, easy for us to understand. Say, but yeah. if you ask him the question, he, of course he'll be able to explain it to you. It, for you to say, Wallahi, that Umar bin Khattab would fail an aqidah test. Wallahi, do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know much of an insult that is? Because Umar was the companion who the Quranic revelation would agree with. Umar would say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Allah Most of the time, like, Allah, Abu Bakr and Umar was Allah would send down an ayah to agree with Umar. Yeah, yeah. Allah would send down ayat mm. to agree with Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala and who's you. Yeah. So, and you're saying the man that Allah Azza wa Jal, his revelation, Allah Azza wa Jal would, 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 uh, Allah Azza wa Jal's revelation would come and it would be in agreement with this man's word, yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're telling me he would fail an aqidah test? Yeah. The point is, he does, the point is, he said so many things. He said, "Okay, he said that I um, I went to Yale, yeah. They gave the, a lot of the shubha heart that they gave me, yeah, are, are still with me today." <laughs> and, a, I got a and a brother and sister. I'm watching a program, <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking like, at a brother and sister. Shubha heart is doubts, by the way. Yeah, shubha heart is doubts. doubts yeah, doubt. I'm looking at the brother and sister behind him. I thought, "What are you trying to do in this lecture?" The brother and sister looking at him like, "Are you trying to lower high man?" <laughs> Because the brother and sister said to him, so what, people, you've gone to study that Medina, you've done all these years, and you, you know we've his, done nothing. You know what his problem was? That he was maybe too arrogant, Allah no. Adam, I don't know, or maybe too insecure, but he he got thrown a question at Yale, or questions that he couldn't answer, yeah. and he didn't go to someone who knew. No, but the scholars, he says in it, the scholars said to him, the ulama told him not to go. He said, I went to my teachers, they told me not to go and this, that, and the other. They told me not to go in this, that, and the other. They're going to do this. They're going to give me sugar heart and this, that, and the other. And you're not equipped to deal but, with them. But, but he said, but I spoke to a few. That means the majority. I spoke to a few forward-minded thinking ones. This is what he says. But I spoke to a few forward-thinking like, like, open, forward, and open-minded ones that agreed with me. for example. <laughs> the guys who believe what? That the, the ahkam of the sharia are what? Uh, it's interesting, by the way, that you say that, by the way. that uh, he, um, well, he, said, he said stoning is bizarre. Did he say stoning is bizarre? He see, he basically was saying because Yusuf Qadawi said I hold a belief in my heart for many years, and now I have come out and said that the issue of stoning Subhan. is incorrect, and many other funny things that they come. To be honest, the things that he says, I yeah. mentioned it in the video, you yeah. know, the behind the scenes in the Dawah scene, yeah. the link between him and Yusuf. Qadawi. Yeah. Uh, th- those are his kind of scholars. When he says forward so thinking. he said, yeah, the forward thinking kind of ones, yeah, they they they. They the, the open-minded ones, yeah. They they said you should go, but he said the, that he spoke to the majority of his teachers. They said no, but he spoke to some well, other you know, after you that. You know what's funny is that you see the same way when you talk about scholars who tell you to be cautious and protect your deen. You use words like medieval. Yeah, but when he you would talk about, When you talk about liberal scholars yeah. who are going to let you follow your desires and do whatever the hell you want, <laughs> open-minded, what do you say? You say open-minded, forward-thinking. Well, like, you know what it's like. Language. It's, and it's, this it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's like for example, gay people. Yeah. Like, they do sodomy. Yeah. They, they sodomize each other, but they say we're, we're gay. gay, which means happy. Yeah. Like just because you're t- like the way these people play, play words. words. Hadith about taking alcohol, calling exactly. alcohol spirits, and you saw Muna. We don't want to spend too much time on this guy, but with the point I would say, he had already done enough stuff. 
he said, he, like he already said, you know, about he's got doubts. Mm -hmm. You don't make, let a new Muslim hang around with someone with doubts or anybody who's practicing hang around with doubts, let alone teacher. He needs help. Yeah, not only that. Yeah, and he admits that he has the doubts. We're not making this up. Yeah. And the, the, the ulama were right. They said, you're going to go and they're going to give you doubts. But you, the forward teacher said, no, you need to go because you should go. And, decide. and the, 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 the majority were right. You did get doubts. But the point is this, yeah. He said the doubts thing. He said the thing about Omar. He said the thing about um, the... the, the, yeah, the, Juj, the, Juj. the match, yeah, About the Sharia of Allah. Yeah. He said the thing about shaking hands with women. He, he said so many. But up until this day, there's people bringing him on the show and saying, and, and saying, oh, you've got more degrees than anyone can count. And you, you know, there's something worse that he's going to bring up, by the way. But no, I know what I know. Did you know that he's, I, these are things that they I hide. hope I'm wrong. I'm hope, I hope I'm wrong. But I believe and I hope I'm proven wrong that this guy's going to say that all religions, yeah, that, that all religions, you know, because he said now, he already said he's not Salafi. But he said now I don't no longer put my box, myself in a box. He said this now. So what's <coughs> that? Because we know you went Salafi a long time ago. You said that. So what, Sunni? And then, that, and then it, oh yeah, he also said you can study, like, Ikid is like thick. You can study... Different madhabs. Yeah. Not he, just that, in his institute... Ashuri, Ashuri. He in, said in, you in could his, choose in, in that, his, Ashuri. In his institute, he actually, look, he put down Islamic scholars. Yeah. You're telling me he says Ibn Taymiyyah's got Isaac Manson? That's mad. But he puts down Islamic scholars, the Islamic scholars, and he's teaching books written by Orientalists. Yeah. He's got Islamic Studies Institute where he's teaching the kuffar books where the kuffar are talking about Islam. He's 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 put the scholars of Islam to the side, and he's like, for example, we study books of Ibn Taymiyyah, Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Wahab, yeah. you know, the Imam Ahmed. We study these books. Yeah. We study aqidah from our ulama. He's teaching aqidah for the kuffar. And by the way, those kuffar who wrote these books on Islam, they did it. To destroy Islam, oh. and he's using that. Like, well, like, does that not show you that this man got something really I just mad about? Pray, him? I just hope he doesn't end up saying that. You know, all the different religions are all the same. They're just different pathways and this, that, and the other, and so forth. Because, Kuf. because That's he said Kuf. you can study the Ashari, Ashari Akido. He said none of them, none of these sects or these groups here, are the the ultimate truth. They're all a they're all a, a subjective version of. Trying to get at the truth, yeah. just like thick. There's no. <laughs> but the whole point is this. The whole point is this. In the YouTube Dawa scene, when you're a big YouTube Dawa scene, no one wants to correct anyone because they don't want to rock the rock the rock the boat. So what happens is that when people make mistakes, yeah, everyone just stays silent. Just stays silent. You know what I'm saying? So the problem is. So the problem is is um. So the problem is, is that that creates a, a environment where people can make mistakes and, and because of allegiances and stuff, you can't really speak out. Yeah, and this is what I want to say. That's a very important point. This is, no, this is the thing. point. Yeah, this is, this is a point, but that's why I thank Adnan Rashid for breaking that because trust me, at the end of the day, he came out and said this was not, and this is what you were saying all the time. This is what you were saying all the time. The things you were saying about Yasser Qadi, about because his problems and this, that, and the other and so forth, People can say, okay, the emails, private, this, that, and the other, self, and so forth. And whatever, whatever position you want to take, you take it. But the whole thing is this, is if someone's got doubts, and they're big, big, one of the biggest names given doubt, this, that, and the other, and they've got doubts, and you can see that he's saying that, that yo, they broke down everything that he learned from Medina, and you have to start build, it, build it up again. And then you realise what you learned in Medina wasn't the actual objective truth. <laughs> so the religion you learned from yo. Yeah, uh, what you learned from Medina wasn't the absolute truth, and you, they broke down what you uh, broke from uh, Medina. And you're saying that what Yale told you was the new Einstein, the the there's Newton and then Einstein. And but basically, you're saying the Yale is more developed. The point I'm trying <laughs> trying to say is that it created a thing where everyone to be silent. Apart from Alan, when he did that thing, that put Shabbat heart into a lot of believers, because the thing about the compilation of the Quran is very technical. You know, and it's by the way, you know, you know. Can I tell you something? You know, we think it's technical, but if you, you know, Ustad Abdul Rahman's series have been so powerful. He makes it yeah? clear. It's not just that. I remember I was speaking to my brother because yeah. my brother was 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 basically observing one of the lessons, mm. and he said that when Ustad started to address a shubha, he said to himself, "Wow, how's he going to answer this?" He said, "When he answered it, he was like, wow, it was so easy.'" And then he said, "Wow, he goes, I deeped it." The qu answers to these questions are, in the are not very hard to answer. Mm. It's just that we don't not familiar. read our We're own not books. Yeah, yeah. We're not familiar with our own heritage. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Like our scholars done written this stuff, Akhi. Yeah. But we just don't read it. We we, we read what what <laughs> what 
Some kind of says about, yeah. about our thing. No, and, th- and that's what I was to say. The respect for him because um, he came out. He said it wasn't wise. But Hamza like, Abdul Nur she came on and he said like, I don't know why. He, he even he said I don't know why he's saying that our scholars ain't got answer. I don't know why he's <laughs> saying that and and uh, why he's saying there's not answers to these questions. Why there's not just that and so forth, you know and. Um, Alhamdulillah to Adnan uh, Rashid for, for doing that video Not because there was feed. big shiba heart in people and, and so forth when he did it straight away. And um, Allahumma Barak to Abdurrahman Hassan, yeah, who they brought on, you know. I know they didn't want to bring him on, but they brought him on to do it because he's your, like, you and him know each other. I know like, certain people hate him, but you know, when there's a problem, you've got to call a professional. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> even if you hate, even if you really don't like them, to fix yeah, the I problem. Really yeah, and he he came and he he dealt with it. He cl- he cleared up the shubaha. Yeah, I then cleared up the shubaha on that on that thing and so forth. And now we can say that because the reality is it's not about camps or sizes and this that and the other and so forth. Yeah, so the whole thing is is that. But that's the I, I really want to focus on that point. About the, look at what you just said. You said it's not about camps. It's not about allegiances. Our allegiance is only to the haq. Our allegiance is only to the truth. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't base allegiance based on number. We don't <coughs> do it based on following. We don't do it based on uh, you know different groups or friendships or individuals or personalities. If a person does something right, yeah. we will say barakallahu feek. Yeah. A person does something wrong, he could be our best friend. Yeah. He could be, like I said, you could it, it, you could be that, that guy's student. He'll correct you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day. It's about what is right mm. and what is what is wrong. Mm. Our allegiance, our love is for Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu yeah. Alaihi Wasallam, and the methodology of the companions, which is the path of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the manager of the Salaf. That's what we're concerned with. That's what we're concerned with. We're not here to make friends and or anything like that. At the, at the end of the day, we want to be with the truth. Yeah. And human beings yeah. are fallible beings. We will make mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes we'll be in line with the truth. Sometimes we'll not be in line with the truth. Yeah. If you make your, if you make your goal and your objective to be always in line with humans, there will be no, times where you will go against the truth because that human will waver from the truth. But if your goal is to hold on to the Quran and the Sunnah, the rope of Allah then every time, yeah, then you're good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because you're not holding on to anything that's fallible. Yeah. you're holding on to something that's infallible. And every now and again, the human move away. Just say, actually hey, remind him. Hey, that was a mistake. Come back. And that's something that I think is very important about. About Salafia, like we have to, we have to, we have to call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Like our, 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 our D and our Dawa is about what that which is right, which is wrong, and we base allegiances and we disassociate our allegiances from people based on when they align with the truth and when they go against the truth. And that's why I'm not in a cap. Uh, um, I know in, a, in in any camps. It's just that with your Dawa, I know when you don't do Dawa, yeah. When you don't do Dawa, I'm not. There's not no surprises that are gonna come my way. I'm not going to see you doing some R&B dawah tune or inshallah t- inshallah because yeah, we know one's the yeah, kada what's it yeah but inshallah there's not going to be no break yeah, dancing like there's not going to be no selfie moon uh, moon walking or you know I'm saying running man or there's not going to be no you know what I'm saying and that's what I'm saying that for example no one said nothing man was giving dawah like like for example you're giving dawah one minute you know this sister's going to follow you because you're talking about Allah the messenger you know the deen uh, talk, giving that to atheists Next thing you're uploading A thumbnail with no top on mm. Don't give me that The aura is from the Knee from the thing you, If you if you came in on your wife And she was had the laptop open And the man was talking about The prophet or Jenna Or the day of judgment And, and in three quarter lengths With no top on yeah Six pack This that and the other you, That laptop is getting smashed bruv mm. Don't matter if she says The aura is from the This that and the other Because you know, you're a man So how is it that man's like One minute talking about Debating with atheists and Dean talking about Dean and talking about you know uh, debating Shiites. So the next thing is uploading you know a video with no top on. The so thumbnail is just like in shorts, yeah, like about to dive in a swimming pool. No one says nothing, yeah. Upload something in some tight like web business doing boxing or something like come on or then a tight vest, yeah. And sometimes the the issue of hijab comes up. A man's wearing a tight vest, you know, and so forth, and talking trying to explain hijab, but no one says no one says anything. Why? 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 Why can't we speak the the, the truth? Why? Because the thing is, is that what happens is we the 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 the, 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 the environment becomes so big that you don't want to fall <coughs> out with each other, and that means when we excuse other people, because 
so many people, okay, everyone's their own man, but so many people told him, bruv, this man has said so many things, mis huge mistakes about the Quran and this, that, and the other. Why are you inviting him on? And you're still praising him about you've got so many degrees and stuff. Like, and, and after he did it, that next person, the, your, your friend, or you should have apologised. Come on. If you're not going to apologise, let someone come out. Like when Abdurrahman said something about the conference, he came out. I think he's done it on a few occasions and come out and said something. You see what I'm saying? To be fair, he did delete it, right? That last part. No, he, but, he, but, but the Shubha hearts are in people. He deleted the end of it, but there's no answer for the people that have watched it and have the Shubha hearts in them. Apart yeah. from when Adnan and uh, Abdurrahman... But, but, he, so, but then... There was no apology. But, he, but bringing Ustad to explain it. Yeah, but I'm saying kind of there's, one, a, there's a week in between you and b between Ustad coming on. But Hamzalah Abdinam Rashid did it thingy. He, he did his, mm -hmm. his, his one. The point is I'm trying to say is that he should have at least said sorry. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge there was a that 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 that, that there was believers that entrust your channel to get to boost the Amen and there was something that your camp forget uh, forget this camp or whatever. Your camp said, listen, there was Ijima, this is wrong. You see what I'm saying? Ijma means what just for the people that don't know what it means. Consensus. Consensus. I, as in not majority, but unanimous. Un unanimous, yeah. yeah. Yeah, consensus, as you yeah. said, said. So yeah. the whole thing is, yeah, so everyone agreed with it and so forth. And that's what I'm trying to say is that, like, there has to be, you know, I, when, if I'm doing down with you or so forth, you can't come on one day and start doing down in a vest, bro. Mm. You can't come out and start bringing, like, you, um, Abu Bakr and Yusad and start singing. Like, it's not going to flow. Someone's going to say, That's Allah for Thabat. For bad, inshallah. Someone's going to correct so Someone's going to say, This is not, this is not cool. Uh -huh. You got to say it. So that, that, that was the point I was saying. Even Imran um, Musa, because when this thing with um, Yasakadi came out and this, that, the other, I was openly on Twitter, um, other Facebook and stuff, say, speaking out. Um, uh, I think Musa Adnan, I haven't even replied to him yet. Because he, the same way I met him is how I think I met you and uh, Ali and the rest of them. And I, I was about the Omar Isa thing, and he said, look, he, uh, the, for the, as for the Dawa with the singing and stuff like that, he mentioned me, he said, I no longer believe in Dawa, There's, that you should do the Dawa through singing. I, 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 I asked for my name to be removed from the songs. Um, I'm not involved in enough of that stuff, Barakallah and I'm not to do with any of that like singing Dawa and kind of stuff. Like that. He messaged me, I haven't even got back to him yet, and so forth, so... And my thing is never, per my thing is not pers um, my thing was never personal, for pers personal with anyone. Like I said, it's just I gave you the news. That's how I got to know you. And it's that Ali, for some reason, I was jealous. He said, are you jealous? Because, you know, because I was saying that you shouldn't draw yourself like superheroes to do the meet and greet and stuff like that. Mm. No, it's not that, bro. It's like, I'm not, a g I might not be a perfect Muslim or, or whatever and so forth, but I respect the steen, yeah? And the whole thing is, is that, like... We're nobodies. I know how, I'm know i no nobody. So when we start pushing us, because I advise you, it doesn't mean I'm a hater. Hater of what, mm. bruv? I know who I am. The reality of who I am, I'm nobody. But you, but you, there's just things you can't can't mm -hmm. do or mm -hmm. things will get out of hand. Anyway, mm. so, yeah. So um, we just need to hold each other accountable. And um, like you said, is that, um, like, I'm just, I, I'm, I just hope there's more accountability on, a, on, on, on the Dawah scene and so forth because, a lot of these, a lot of pe people with big names, they're ca they causing Shubha heart over the Quran, mm. over the LGBT. Mm. So excuse me, they old like, you see what's happened with the LGBT and mm -hmm. for like we all agree that homosexual gays, lesbians, that you shouldn't chase them down in the street and set them on fire. We all agree with that, even though we strongly disagree with their lifestyle and this that and the other. We're not in an Islamic country and we, this is not Islamic state. Yeah, we believe that you shouldn't just bust up a a, home, uh, a a gay man or gay woman who you see at the bus stop or the tube or mm -hmm. this, that, and the other, and so forth. Even though we strongly disagree with their lifestyle, mm -hmm. and we're not homophobic, I can disagree with you without being homo. I do not believe being gay is morally right. I believe it's bad. That doesn't make me homophobic. Homophobic means homo, Irrational same, thing. yeah, yeah, same. Fair phobia, a fair. I don't fear yeah. gay people. I just disagree with you. Yeah. What's what's the word? They don't have a word for disagreeing with homosexuality, but not being homophobic. They've made it so it's only one. Yeah, way. if you disagree with homosexuality, I thought I'm in democracy. I thought I'm free to believe what I want to believe. So we don't believe in it, but it's just that. I think when you get big and you like get on certain, you get big and you get in thousands of talk, a talk, tens of thousands of talk and this that and the other. You get allegiance with governments and this that and the other and so forth. Your water becomes like Robinson, like diluted. And bro. Just, I think another reason is that a lot of people 
like for you're some of the Yaqeen guys here, yeah. A lot yeah. of people, like if you look at the people who write in these articles, they don't even have an Islamic background. Oh, like the they Jonathan have, Brown one. Yeah, they have a secular background. That was, like, that, like, that was a killer. Yeah, like 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 the brother's got um, uh, 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 I think it's a, uh, a postgraduate in in history. That's another one. I agree with gay. I don't agree with the right gay rights, but I agree with gay, the rights for gays to yeah, get married. No, <laughs> what yeah, is that poetry? <laughs> 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 he's, he's, yeah, he's, history or Eastern, Eastern. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying so. So people really need to really understand. Like the reason why people make these mistakes is because they never had religion governing them. They had politics governing them. Yeah. Like even even like for example, the brother mentioned Jonathan Brown that when he was grilled on it. He said, you know, he, uh, he, when he was good, are you making a religious argument? He said, I'm making a political okay, yeah. argument. I showed you, they're not scholars, they're politicians. Yeah, this has they're nothing like to do with Islam. They're using the deen. But, but the thing is, it's playing games because, but then you, but then you, but then you use the deen to make your point. So yeah, but, it, but that's rubbish. That, why is it on your key, Why is it on their website? It, it doesn't make sense that this that is, not, this is a political, is, this is a political, that's just rubbish. That's, that's, that's just semantics. So, so people need to really understand then. There are people, these people are politicians. He's a director of Yakin. Who's that? Jonathan Brown. I think he's, he's, the, he's, a, I think he's one of the, like, the top guys, isn't it? The, the, yeah. Either way, my point is that these, these guys, yeah. they're politicians. Yeah. They are not scholars. They are not the art. They are politicians. If you look at, if you look, for example, they don't teach you how to pray. They don't teach Tahara. Huh. They don't teach fasting. They don't teach Hajj. They don't teach Nikah, Islamic finance. They mention it every now and again here and there to grab the people. Yeah. You see, when do you hear them roar and shout and scream? When it's political matters. Yeah. They are politicians. Yeah. They have political backgrounds. They have secular backgrounds. They don't actually have religious backgrounds. Some of them have religious backgrounds. They adopted secular uh, kind of you know viewpoints and standings or whatever have you. And really, what it is secular, democratic. You know, maybe secular is they're they're gonna they're gonna argue with that. But the point yeah. is they're political nonetheless. Yeah. So well, like we ask Allah Azza wa for help. We ask him to assist us and aid us. I'm just conscious of time because I know you've got to get to um, no you gotta to get to work, man. There was a it's lot good. of things I wanted to discuss, but I think nonetheless What we could do mashallah, we, we could go on for a bit while longer. Uh, I think it would be good to have a separate yeah. episode. Because so it's two different, totally different subjects, two, the two road different, and... Yes, yeah, subjects, inshallah. But I wanted to talk about your experiences on the streets, yeah. going to jail, coming out, how you came to Islam. Now they can say, oh, hi, they, these guys are talking about Akida, Minhaj and all this kind of stuff. And now they've got some jailbird to speak. And they, see, they've got some jailbird speaking about like Yasa Khan and all this. But like, that's such a bad thing to say. Yeah. Some of the companions were like, like uh, Mughira, Mughira ta'ala, yeah. on his way to accept Islam, he killed a man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. killed a man. Yeah. He killed a man oh. on his b before he accepted Islam, but on his way. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, but then we became Muslim. And the highway robber, the famous one. For Bilal Ibn Al. Yeah. Even though the narrations question is that authenticity, okay. but nonetheless, nonetheless, yeah. the point is, it's not about your past. Yeah. And wallahi, if a person does that, wallahi, that's 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 that's, that's devilish. Wallahi, you don't look at a person's past. You don't look at what they were on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For to bring a, a person's past and try to use that as their present, wallahi, that's devilish. Alhamdulillah. And look, we we know our lady and this that young and so forth and, and and so forth. It's not about that. It's just that the preservation preservation of the Quran is everyone. Not everyone's lane, but it affects all the Muslims, bruv. It's the basics. Uh, you know, and it's it's not like this person. It's like when we say Quran Sunnah. It's the basics. Yeah, and it's not like a not enough people didn't cut. He didn't make enough mistakes before this to give him a platform. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a big a whole bunch of Akida mistakes before, and we're just concerned for the youth. Cause we're not gonna be we're not gonna be on this earth for long and oh. and so forth and like we're all trying to all of us are trying to get the youth you know, inspire the youth to practice so it's an easier place for us and our families and everyone mm -hmm. to practice and this and what and when people just come in along and you know they have a track history of mm -hmm. making mistakes we need to we need to not bring these people on big platforms and people if they do they have to um, people need to hold them account for it and that's from any anywhere mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that's from any side and so forth mm -hmm. you know. And I know you can't see the unseen, but you before someone comes on and this that and the other, you're gonna make you're gonna look at the, his, okay. the the obviously history and you know and hopefully because you know it's people's souls you're you're entrusted with mm -hmm. when you put people on your platform, you know that's you know you're res you're, you're you're responsible for mm -hmm. um you're responsible because if I put someone on my platform, I know that's why when I said to you about the Omar Issa thing, I said you this song or whatever you lot are. Doing with him, yeah. It may not have, it may 
just be singing and stuff, which the companions never do. Then the, the companions never sung like feminine R and B soul singers and stuff to give dawa. You know what I'm saying? They had poetry. Pe- uh, poet. There was a poet that used to recite um, certain things, but not like this, like you know, soul kind of music or this ever. But if you bring Omar Isa or any of these people on your platform, your followers naturally because they trust you, they're gonna think I. Because I trust Imran or because I trust Hussein and he's brought this person from platform, I'm going to follow them on the social media mm-hmm. automatically mm-hmm. because they, they your trust rub, rubs off to a person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you bring like Omar Isa or one of these people who's singing like some song about Islam or this, that and the other and so forth and, and, and your followers following him, then they're going to follow his account. Then when he starts see, singing the latest Kofar song, then you're going to start picking up and then you're going to look at the, the remix, the actual song of what he, you see what I'm saying? So... All of us, I need to be held accountable, you need to be held accountable for what we do because there's people's souls that are being entrusted to us. Like, it's, it's not a light matter, bruv. Well, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that you know you must grab the hand of the person who's, who's straying. If not, then um, well, life can be destruction for all of us. The hadith yeah. of the Prophet Alaihi Wasallam, you know, the people are on a boat, hadith Sahih Bukhari, those are on a boat, the guys at the bottom and the guys at the top. In order to get water, if the guys at the bottom drill a hole inside of the boat yeah. to get water, the whole boat is going to sink. So yeah. the Prophet said, if the guys at the top don't come and stop, then they'll all drown. And that's why we need to help each other. And no, saying, definitely. When, when we advise one another, it's not because we want bad for you. Yeah. It's not bad because it's, it's not because we want evil for you. We're trying to save you. Mm. Ibn Taymiyyah rahmahullah ta'ala said, Ahlu sunnati wal jama'ah mm. are more merciful to the people of innovation than their own parents. You know why? Because they grab them from the brinks of the fire and they throw them into paradise. As yeah. in, we don't literally throw them into paradise. Grab as them. As, 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 what what yeah. it means is, is like, as in, your da'wah is... Show them the way. Showing them the way. Yeah. Showing them the way. And that's why he said, you know, sometimes mercy is to be tough. Yeah. If I have a stain on my thobe, and I really love this thobe, people can say, Allah, about it. Mm. I love this thobe. Yeah, I got this from Brother Taha, Libas. Shout out. out to Libas. I heard he's making a comeback. But basically, if I because I love this thobe, if mm. I get a stain on it, I'll be very tough in trying to clean it. Yeah. And me being tough with my thobe, scratching it off, I'm not being tough because I hate the thobe. Hmm. I'm being tough because I love it. Yeah. I want to purify it. <laughs> so sometimes being tough is a sign of mercy. Wallahu a'ala, wa'ala. Do you know what it is? I apologize to everyone. I, I naturally speak fast. And you naturally speak, speak fast. fast so maybe they have to they, slow YouTube, the whole... They can slow it to 0. 0.75. <laughs> we'll put subtitles. Put 0. But 0. I apologize for anyone in the crowd that, that didn't catch what I was saying. Or if, if I spoke too fast and I did it, it wasn't e- easy to understand me. It's just naturally how I've been made, and inshallah. I don't apologize, Akhi. <laughs> this is the way Allah created you. Right. Love Allah you for Allah's sake. Allah, the one for your sake, love you, love you back, Akhi. Allah, thank you so much for coming, Akhi. You came, you're literally about to go to work. You came last minute, Allah, and Zakhlaq, may Allah only for dunya, and akhirah. Brothers and sisters, please make sure you follow Brother Hussein Street Adil. Uh, I d- wanted to mention this at the beginning, but I didn't get a chance to. Brother Hussein actually been involved in the da'wah longer than some of us were practicing. In fact, I remember when I just started practicing, and Alhamdulillah, will minna, you know, Allah Azza wa Jal. I mean, we went. I wasn't on road doing like a madness, but yeah. he was on road, and I wanted to kind of see if there was someone that could relate <laughs> to someone like me who come from that lifestyle. And I remember way back, almost ten years ago, I was walking through Kingston, speaking to one brother. He told me there's a guy called Street Adin on YouTube. Subhanallah. So you've been on YouTube for over a decade. Subhanallah. Yeah, that's the whole thing, social media, but I think we have to do that another time. We have to, but it's just the concept that we're like, you have to show respect where it's due. The brother Salafi has been involved in the da'wah. And like I'm saying, I come when I come to the deen, and when I was asking, yo, is there anyone for me to relate to? Like, I come from a certain lifestyle, and they told me, go look up street deen. I'm the my luck if that person, Jalla, man. I mean, I mean. I mean. So Allah khibarak Allah fiq subhanak Allah wa bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alaikum. I have a question for you. From all of my videos online that you might have seen, which one has been the most life-changing one for you so far? Many people told me that it was the video when we gave that outside the Shisha cafe. And I'll leave you with this. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a time will come when holding on to my religion Holding on to Islam would become as difficult as holding on to charcoal. The charcoal that we smoke shisha with. The Prophet said, try and hold on to it. It burns you, let go of it. The Prophet said, that's what my religion will become like. Is it not like that today? Or perhaps you're from those who said it was that lecture that everyone was asking about, the one I did on the issue of death. 
send me back. Please send me back. I'll pray this time. I'll, I'll, I'll dump that girl this time. I won't play around with the girls no more. No more cigarettes, no more weed, no more watching things online, no more talking to the guys, no more music, no more disrespecting my parents. I will pray. Allah, please send me back. Tell these angels, hold me down for a second. Send me back. Just. Just two minutes, send me back. Oh, let me die with my head on the ground in Sajda. Let me die, but Allah said, no, you will not be able to return. They will scream, Rabbi Rji'uni, send me back my master, please. Bro. Or maybe it was one of the other 1,000 plus videos that we have online. Whatever it was, I want to ask you a follow-up question. And that is, I want you to remember and record what life was like before you saw that video, when you were distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, when you're thinking of that and remembering that, I want you to be aware that there are many brothers and sisters who are still living life like that, far and distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They still haven't seen that one video that's going to help change their life. They haven't seen that one reminder that's going to touch them and bring them out from the darkness of sin to the brightness and the light and the happiness of guidance. But that doesn't mean that there isn't hope for them. They just need to come in contact with that kind of content online. And that's why myself and my team are dedicating the next three months inshallah ta'ala to flooding the internet with as much content on Tawheed and Sunnah and reminders about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as possible. But the issue is that in order for us to reach those targets, we're limited in terms of the resources that we have. We need to hire more people in our media team. We need to also buy new equipment. Now look, I am going to ask you to support this financially but I'm not going to ask you for crazy numbers for us we don't need that kind of money we need little money because we have a team that really believes in this and the proof is in the pudding if you see what we've done over the last summer subhanallah you can see that the work it gets done that money goes where it deserves to be placed so I'm going to ask you inshallah ta'ala because you're a person who's benefited from this YouTube channel you're a person who's benefited from my video I want you to be able to give the gift of that video that helped change your life to someone else by donating at the link below and remember the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said none of you will truly believe until you love for your brother by extension your sister what you love for yourself and what you love here for them is what guidance the way you love it for yourself so please inshallah give it the link below and let's flood the internet with la ilaha illallah